everyone welcome back in today's video we will be talking about how you can use the motion tool to stay organized and you manage your projects much more effectively all right so you have different pricing plans available for you so definitely take a look and check it out but if you just want to get started to see if this um, app is the right fit for you you can try motion for free of cost so next we're gonna come to the screen which is where we're gonna sign up so over here motion is asking you if you want to use this tool uh, with your team with your enterprise or just by yourself I'm gonna select continue as individual in our case and next you're gonna come to the screen where you have to enter your payment information just to use the app for free of cost next you're gonna come to the screen where you're gonna see this one minute video which basically shows you how you can use motion we're gonna skip this video for now and next thing we're gonna do is connect all our calendars to motion so I'm gonna click connect account and I'm gonna add my Google Calendar. And over here, Motion is asking you permission um, to basically schedule and move the tasks, create meetings, share availabilities, send a templated email to guests, um, and also send reminders before booked meetings. So if this looks good to you, you're gonna click OK, continue. And as you can see that our calendar is linked. If you want to add another account, you can do that as well. So both of these calendars are currently linked. And next you're gonna come to this page where you're gonna set your weekly work hours. So these are the timings between which you want Motion to schedule the task. You can always change this and customize this when you go to the settings section. But to me, this looks great because I have my schedule set as uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Friday, which looks great to me. So I'm going to click continue. Then Motion is asking you which recurring tasks would you like to schedule on your calendars. So one of the things that I do every day is, you know, lunch and also checking my emails these two things are like quite mandatory so i'll select that and i'll click create recurring task and over here you're going to add the five things you're working on uh for this week so let's say the first one is that i have to create a youtube video which is going to be due at the end of this week and I'm gonna spend like one hour of my time over there and i'll click add so you can add um as many tasks as you want so once you have these updated you're gonna click next and over here motion is asking you a bunch of questions which is gonna help them uh, create a better dashboard for you so first one is if your company is client services oriented and the reason they are asking is because if it's a client service uh, company you know some of the projects are quite repetitive and they can be templatized so I'm gonna select that as yes second one is how large is your company so I'll just put this as just me for now and my current position at my company. I'm going to put that as individual contributor. How many people will you be bringing to motion in the next six months? Maybe two to four people and I'll click continue. I'm going to continue as individual and over here we're going to select the theme. So we have system settings, dark and light. I like dark theme. So I'll select that. I'll click continue. And over here motion is basically preparing the calendar for us. All right, so the first thing that happened is that when I have a bunch of calendars that I am maintaining simultaneously, it kind of pulled out all those data from it and, and incorporated it into this calendar. So from 5 to 6 p.m., I want to work on the video and I want to send proposal. And so over here, you're going to see all the tasks that we had initially entered. So checking emails, sending proposal, creating a YouTube video and blocking time for lunch. And also there are some other tasks that have been pulled out from my calendar. And if there is a certain task that you want to move around. So for instance, we have this task, send proposal. Uh, from 10.15 to 10.45, if I just want to move around, I can like drag it like that. And if you click the task, you can always add more description about what it is. You can make some notes. Um, you can also update the status over here, whether it's a to-do task, it's an in-progress task, or it's canceled and things like that. You can also make adjustments to the duration over here. Uh, reset the deadline and things like that if you want to leave a comment for your team you can always do that here as well on this section you're gonna see your calendar the calendars that are linked currently to motion and over here we have the project tab 
where you can organize your task and project individually or with a team. So I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to call this Who Video Project. And I'll click next. We're going to create our first project. It is prepare a YouTube video script. I'm going to click next and we're going to create three tasks associated with that. So I'm going to call this as research, write this and on this section, you're going to see that our project is located over here and we have these subtask items and over here you can see the dates, the priority, if somebody is assigned to it or not, you can always click over here and assign a person if you're working with like a team. Um, so this dashboard is like very similar to monday.com or like um, any other project management tools that you have used and it's also quite customizable so we do have like different sections over here if you want to add like more items you can do that by selecting any of these blocks over here or if you want to hide anything specific you can just like uncheck that box and like get rid of it from your dashboard so next we have the booking tab over here which is where you can set your schedule and you can also use it to book meetings if you're working with a team and basically find time uh, wherever it's applicable so you can work more effectively so i'm going to click set up my booking links and over here there is a mini tutorial which is going to like guide you through the process and over here you can set uh, your schedule basically the work hours during which your guests can like book uh, the meetings for you um, we have buffer time which is basically the time you want to have like a, as, as like a rest period between um, back to back meetings over here you can set the duration of the meeting the location whether you want to have those meetings via Google Meet or Zoom or phone call once that is done you're gonna click create booking page and this is our booking link so you can send this to anybody in your team if you want to uh, schedule a call with uh, yourself so I'm gonna click generate message and I'm gonna add a teammate to the meeting so let's say I add this person and over here we do have time slots that are picked up from our calendar and we can copy this message and send it via email and that way uh, anybody in your team can like book a call with you now coming back to the calendar over here, if you want to add another task or an line item, you can always do that but by just like clicking that block and updating the information over here. Now let's say your task is completed for the day. So the first thing we have as a priority on Monday is to make sure that we check our emails. Once that is done, you can check that off from your list and it just makes it easier for you to keep track of it. Overall, Motion is a great tool if you want to manage your projects and have a view of your calendar and also the booking feature is really cool. So it's great for somebody uh, who has like a small team and who wants to get hands on on different facets of project management in like one place. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye now.